So this um, just as a footnote here, or because that's very often talked about. So this, if we have this process of um, using an XOR and um, sending a pseudo random number sequence in in there. If we do if we do that and um, having our that's our data and that's our our randomized data. Then so and and then this goes here into our into our um, inverse Fourier transform with some kind of modulation of course and then it goes here goes here further um, this is this is very often this is called very often called energy dispersal so why is this called energy dispersal so this means that remember the output the output here these are different frequencies here and we are and we are these here these are here frequency x of k these are frequency coefficients here so x of k are frequency coefficients or frequency samples yeah so so this means this means also that in overall or in, in average in average all frequencies xk are equally excited are equally utilized so this means that the energy of um, that the energy is never concentrated on one frequency but it's always concentrated more or less over all frequencies more or less equally in the average obviously not all the time but in the average so the spectrum so the energy is um, always equally spread over the spectrum is um, equally spread out and that's also quite a nice um, side effect of that so then therefore we never have the danger that we're just transmitting one sine wave or something like this but it's always just like a complex mix of different sine waves and so and this is called called energy dispersal 